All right, all right, Adrian, this video is for you. These are the changes that we're doing right now for Matthews. I just want you to understand this laundry room. It's going to be, she has a washer and dryer. She's going to change them both to front loading. She's not sure if she's going to do a pedestal or not. So whenever she decides on that, you're going to get this thing. Um, I told her you can't really have any much room for this big sink. They're going to do a sink here later uh, after inspection. This is only going to be able to have a floating shelf. I thought if this is going to be deep, you probably have to do a 16 inch deep floating shelf in here. There's no soffit. The roof pitches like this, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and, I, I put all the rough framing dimensions. This wall has to have a 5 8 inch drywall because it's a firewall. You're gonna have a garage door. Right now the rough opening was like 34 and three quarters. I thought maybe he can shift another three quarter here to get a little bit more room in the washer and dryer. These cabinets probably have to sit back a little bit. The washer and dryer face has to probably be out because you barely have room for washer and dryer and the drain. So maybe make this countertop 30 deep, let the washer and dryers stick out, okay? Now, if you come in here, Janice, can you bring the light? The reason, bring the light in here so we can see. We can, there's all so power. So the reason, Adrian, that I did a floating shelf in here, because if you look, this is not gonna even pass habitable code. Right now, cement to rough is 76 and a quarter. By the time you do the drywall, you'll end up with 75 and something, and it pitches up. So it goes from this low height, and then the up height is cement to framing is like 102 one and three quarters so by the time you drywall it'll be 101. so if you're going to put a 14 inch deep upper it's got to be low enough so when the door is open it doesn't hit this ceiling here that may be like 92 or 91 inches so you may have to set these cabinets at 90 inches plus the molding or something for the doors to operate or maybe 90 to the top of the molding do a floating shelf on this side and then there's a garage door that's going to swing in and then she took out this whole bar area, so there is no bar on the back side. We decided to put things on this side. She wants a fridge in here. She has to keep a score molding. I measured framing to framing here for the score molding. I made her island longer. So if I'm, I'm going to put a revision 1110, 1110, 21. So I avoided that. So between this drawing now that I'm going to do and and this drawing that I just did here for the laundry area area here that she can put in. Uh, she mm -hmm. might put a wine chiller in here. So I'm giving you this. So when you put the dimensions in, you're familiar with what's happening. And then obviously she needs to sign it off and this job should be remeasured later. But this is basically what's happening for Matt.